All right, on your virtual day, um, today and tomorrow, whichever one you are at home virtually working, you are going to be completing this little end of the book project. So the last page in your Number the Stars packet is the back side of a postcard. And what I'm gonna have you do is cut out this postcard template. all the way around the outside. And you'll see that there's only just the back side. So when we cut this out, we're gonna use the opposite side of this template here as the fun picture that postcards usually have. Okay, so your goal or your project is going to be choosing two characters from the book, or if you wanna even just choose one character from the book that you personally as a sixth grader in 2020 from Webb Middle School are sending a postcard to that character way back in time. Or if you want to do it from the perspective of one character to another, you are more than welcome to do that also. So what's going to happen is this area, I don't know if you've ever sent a postcard before, but this area right here with all these lines is going to be the address that you are sending to. So what I would do, and I'm going to fill this out as like a template so that you can see what the different parts are and what you need to fill out. You're gonna put the name of person who is receiving the postcard. Name who is receiving, oops, on this top line here, okay? And then you're gonna create an address in the next couple lines here that they live at and you're sending it to. So create address the person in this spot here lives at or you're sending the postcard to. Okay, now if you want to use yourself in today's world and you're sending this postcard from someone, well, actually scratch that idea. So you're going to choose one character from the book that you're going to send this postcard to. So this area is who is receiving the card. You're going to create a fake address for it. If you want to kind of use some details from the book, you're more than welcome to. Um, but just as long as there's an address here, that is fine. And then what I'm going to have you do is decorate this little stamp up here. Usually stamps have a picture inside. So make sure that you decorate or color the stamp, especially inside here. And a lot of the times stamps have pictures of memorable events that have happened lately, or they celebrate um, some leaders in the country. Um, so maybe think about what a stamp could have looked like in Denmark or in Copenhagen at this time and think about what maybe could have been on a stamp here. All right, then this side is your message to the person who you're sending it to. So you're going to write dear and then the name, oops, dear and then the name here, whoever you are choosing. If you're choosing Anne-Marie, if you're choosing Ellen, Maybe you're choosing Mrs. Rosen. Maybe you're choosing Kirsty. You're going to write their name here. And then you're going to write out a message to them, either from another character or from you, from the 2020 sixth grade middle school, Reedsburg, Wisconsin perspective of life. Okay? Now on the back side of this, you're going to create a picture. This is to be in full color. And I'll write the requirements on here. Full color, picture, of or representing place you are or your character is sending the postcard from. So a lot of the times postcards are something that you may buy on vacation somewhere. And when you buy these postcards, depending on where you are on vacation, I know a lot of stores in the uh, Wisconsin Dells have a lot of postcards that have images of pictures from the Dells. So maybe they have the river, maybe they have the rock formations, maybe they have a duck on there, maybe they have Mount Olympus on there. It's something that's representing either the place you are from, so maybe you wanna choose something in Reedsburg to draw a picture on here, because you're sending it from you as a sixth grader in 2020 in Reedsburg, or maybe you're sending it from Anne-Marie to Ellen or from Ellen to Anne-Marie. Choose a picture or a landscape or um, 
a scenic place, maybe from this um, place that you're sending it from, that could be shown on the front side of this postcard here. Okay, so you are drawing a picture that covers the whole page, full color slash whole page, a place or a scenic um, picture that represents where the postcard is being sent from. Okay, so this is going to be your assignment, whether you're on um, Tuesday virtual or, or, I'm sorry, Thursday virtual or Friday virtual. So make sure you have this front side colored, drawn out, your message to whoever you're sending it to, and then the name to who you're sending it to, and then the fake address. And then from at the bottom, or love, or with love, this is where you're going to put your name here. Okay, or if you're choosing it to write from one character to another, maybe just put your name up here or something so I know whose it is. Or maybe small on the front side, doesn't matter what. Okay, so don't glue this in. We're going to be handing this in on your next in-person day, so don't glue it into your composition notebook. Um, if you want to keep it in there, just so you have a safe spot to keep it, that's fine. But we're going to be turning this in on your next in-person day. All right, let me know if you have any questions.